Hi, it's Steve here. Um, I wanted to make a quick video of something I found the other day when we were doing some research with my daughter Lily. Uh, we were trying to find pictures of geckos eating because she wanted to put together a, um, a little book of pictures of them. So uh, we did the usual thing of going to Google Images and finding lots of pictures of geckos with various things in the mouths. When we came across one picture uh, that directed us to a site with a virus on it. So I'll show you what we did. Uh, we clicked on the picture uh, to get the big version of it. And as soon as we did that, we got this pop-up that said, Chrome security has found critical process activity on your system. So it looks all legit at this point, and you click OK. Um, and it shows this security alert within the browser. And it gives the impression that it's scanning through the system and starts also showing viruses or so-called viruses that it's found. That's why it's called Scareware, because it's here to try and get you to download this program here. So you see it and you panic and you click on the start protection. So it all looks legit and it gives you lots of messages that make it feel as if your computer is infected. But remember at this point the computer isn't infected, it's just showing you some messages to try and scare you into installing the software. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll just kick off the task manager and kill the process um, rather than clicking on any of the buttons, otherwise we'll keep being prompted to try and download and install this software. So now we thought we'll have a go at trying it in Mozilla Firefox. We'll do the same thing, uh, we'll go to Google Images and try and find the picture of the gecko, which is the one that pings us off to the site with the um, virus or trying to install the virus from. So if you just scroll down and then click on the image uh, to try and get through to the site and as soon as we do that we get a message up from Firefox. Here we go. Mozilla Security has found critical process activity you'll see that the window that comes up uh, is made to look like it's a, a Firefox window and so the styling is different to the one that you see in the Google Chrome uh, but it still does the same thing, shows a bar as if it's progressing and comes up with some viruses that it says it's found and then ultimately tries to get you to download this software which itself is the thing that will infect your computer. So now we'll try the same thing on Internet Explorer. So we'll kick off Internet Explorer and go through the same process as with the other two browsers. That is, go to Google Images, uh, do a search for um, a gecko eating, and we'll find the picture that gave us or redirected us off to the site with the virus. Uh, so we click on it and get this message that says Caution your computer contains a variety of suspicious programs and then kicks off into showing a window Well it will do when I click OK um, A bit more elaborate uh, but again with the basic process of a bar going across showing it um, scanning the machine and also showing some um, viruses that it says that it's found which it hasn't really um, the Internet Explorer one is slightly more sophisticated, uh, probably to try and get more people to, uh, more people sucked in. So then it comes up with this um, window to say, click on remove all or cancel. And if you've been presented with this window, you'll probably want to click remove all, but that's really the wrong thing to do. It then wants to download this software. Uh, which is the software that will infect your computer. Here I'm just going to click cancel um, and close all the windows and try and get away. You see it keeps trying to make me want to install the software but I want to try and get out. I'll click OK here and then close the window. I hope that's given you an idea of what happens when you get hit by one of these things in your browser um, and what it looks like. In the next video I'm going to install the software um, and show you what it looks like when your computer's actually infected and the kind of messages that you'll be getting up then. Thanks for watching.